So, right. So thanks, everyone, for this most interesting few days. I enjoyed it a great deal. Um, so, uh, no, I don't think my mind has been changed, but a few uh, important things, I think, were reinforced um, and clarified to some extent. So, uh, right, I've, I've, I found yesterday afternoon's discussion the painful, though I realize it must have been for non-philosophers. I did find it um, quite helpful in getting clearer as to what's at stake in some issues. I've, I've thought for a very long time that uh, the real challenge, to, the only challenge to naturalism I take truly think should be taken truly seriously is a kind of eliminativist challenge, roughly the kind that Alex um, defends. That, that is, you know, so our, James in my book is subtitled Metaphysics Naturalized, or Naturalizing Metaphysics, I forget which. Metaphysics, um, Naturalized. Metaphysics Naturalized. Um, right, well, of course, the alternative is to, is the only alternative we really take seriously to naturalizing metaphysics is abolishing metaphysics. Uh, right? It's self-evident to me that non-naturalized metaphysics is nonsense. So, uh, and I, I think if, if we were persuaded by Alex, that is the road to, that, that's abolition of metaphysics. Um, now, I also, I've always thought as well, and this was reinforced yesterday, that that issue ultimately comes down to the question of whether we can successfully ground notions of representation, because once you get representation, we can get all the rest of the stuff that's really at issue. Can we ground notions of representation uh, seriously, not just in a metaphorical fashion, but actually technically grounded in information and resistance to entropy? Um, so I happily came out of yesterday's conversation thinking, right, there's a kind of general agreement that, that is, that's the project that has to be carried out. And ultimately, I think that's what determines whether we should have whether we shall have naturalized metaphysics or no metaphysics. Um, uh, I'm going to join the general consensus that we've heard around the table, and I, I'm all, I was also persuaded that, yeah, free will just looks like it's got too, as a phrase, looks like it has too many barnacles on it. Um, and this, of course, happens sometimes to um, two phrases. I mean, rationality is another, is, is another one like that. In, my, in the first chapter of the book I'm currently finishing up on economics, I say, on philosophy of economics, I say, uh, you know, rationality, rationality has typically, if, insofar as it's ever meant anything, rationality has meant what God would think, right? Since there's no God, I'm not going to talk about rationality again in this book. Um, right? I mean, I think it, used, it once was a really good word, but it's been ruined. Right, so so it's time to retire it. I'm I'm inclined to think that about free will, and I'm not I'm, you know again, uh, my sympathies on the sub substantive issues are entirely with Dan's view. Um, I'm a compatibilist in that sense, but I think we should we should we, we will we will probably never succeed in uh, in persuading people to understand that compatibilist position if we insist on using the phrase free will. So okay, let's retire it. Um, I, I, I would have enjoyed a little more, if, if in terms of things we could, that I would have liked to have seen us talk a little bit more about, I would have enjoyed more discussion about interpretations of quantum mechanics. Um, um, you know, it would have been nice if that was actually a, a topic. Um, it came up parenthetically now and again, but we really didn't, didn't have a go at it. I'm, uh, James and I have written, have recently written a paper which is coming out in a book we're editing from Oxford, UP, in a, next month. Uh, in which we defend the original Copenhagen interpretation, not the later Copenhagen interpretation, right? Not the Copenhagen inter so, All right. right? The, the Copenhagen interpretation. Now you that, tell me. The Copenhagen interpretation that, according to philosophers, isn't an interpretation, yeah. right? In that one. Mm, yeah. Okay. Original, original <laughs> board. <laughs> original board. So we could have had an interesting right, well, go about that. that. Yeah, we'll have lunch. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'll stop there. Thanks. Th okay. Thanks everybody for for <laughs> so many interesting remarks that everyone made.